So we got ourselves an MMA video. Very rare, but I thought I'd check it out. And these are the rarest knockouts in its history. You guys will be the judge of that. So at the end of the video, let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree. But let's waste no time and just jump into the video. <laughs> oh, what a start. What a start, dude. Nah. Mixed martial arts are about to hit the 30 year mark since their birth in the early 1990s. Still, the sport mm, has come dude. a long way, filled with many masterful knockouts scored by the combat visionaries. No! Oh, yes! We've gathered the rarest knockout okay, cool. strikes outside the UFC that deserve to be called a work of art. So sit back okay, and enjoy see. the show. Yo, the spinning elbow. Ooh, that little snap play. Yo, great entrance. With the abundance Ooh. of close quarters fighting in MMA, elbow? elbow strikes have oh, he's always going been by a must-have skill for the cage gladiators. Going, it's called, called a tomahawk however, elbow. Fighters really oh, employ the trademark Jonathan. tomahawk, which are more commonly seen in movies. Oh, this is on Bach. Nonetheless, at the World Championship that. event titled Fists of Fury, Mark Abelardo and Emilio Abelardo. Urrutia worked hard to live up to the big Ooh. headlines. Let's see, let's see. In the last minute of the first round, Abelardo connected with the right hand and immediately started wielding his elbow. Ooh, he's already and groggy. He's with a hook. Too much to drink. Oh, and then he his just throws elbows. To the Damn. Bell, but allowed a well-aimed tomahawk in the process. Oh, another one! In the middle of the bout, That's the sharp, Filipino bro, warrior dude. portrayed Ong Bak once again no in way. an award-winning performance jump? and caught his opponent mid-punch. No, 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 no. Oh, there you go! There you oh go! Oh my he god, you know those slicers? He the big alive. slicer to cut paper, man? That's how it looked like, man. The perfectly placed tomahawk brought Abelardo a Yo. dizzy victory. Speaking of sharp strikes with a bend of the arm, Anderson Silva Ooh, also cool. made spider. some noise in that department. In 2006, Spider was defending his cage rage title and literally elbowed his way to the UFC. Dude, he supercharged that. The upward Come reverse, me, me, elbow reverse began Spider's era, and the rest is history. Nice. <laughs> Dude, he charged that. Hmm. Basically, when someone walks too close to you and on the sidewalk. Question mark kicks have been gaining more and more popularity. We've on done these MMA in Taekwondo grounds. a lot. Also known yeah! as the Brazilian kick. However, the modification resembles a knee strike or a front kick, yeah. which often it's deceives like the opponent. At the start of the 2000s, the misleading blow was brought to the world's attention by kickboxer Glaube Fitosa in his thunderous knockouts. Ooh. In the 2010s, UFC champion Israel Adesanya borrowed the unusual move which paved his path to numerous key victories at kickboxing championships Oh, right worldwide. in the face, right in the mouth. Yeah, he has MMA a good whip. question mark kick knockouts granted Izzy promotion to the UFC in November of 2017. Stuart Dare was the last one standing in Adesanya's way. Ooh, he also looked down to do a little bit extra uh, After deep. Brutally Look at this, he looks his down. Opponent's expectations, Adesanya Boom. took Dare out. In 2019, European KSW fans witnessed a question mark kick by Alexander Ilich, which worked really well against Damian that Yanikovsky. That is tattoo? Or is that just an ad? Well, he tattooed his foot on his face, bro. That... Welcome. Welcome to the tattoo parlor. Rolling Thunder. The somersault kick, which goes by the name Rolling Thunder, can often be seen Dude. in kickboxing rings because the referee will always stop the fight after a spectacular flip. Oh, no, no, no. That didn't connect. That didn't connect. That didn't connect. But Come in on. MMA, in order to fell. spin in a whirlwind of rage, Damn. you must either have the passion of Justin Gaethje oh! or possess surgical precision. Jeez, yeah, In man, 2019, Davy Gallon, a European prospect mainly known for his ground skills, proved to be the latter. Ross Pearson, a UFC retiree hoping to make a quick buck, hopped into the cage with Gallon. From the get-go, Davy started throwing no back fists. He's not going to make mistakes. 
There was oh, he no tried rest to roll. for the veteran on the floor either, where he was forced to constantly get out of submissions. In the third round, Galon went for a spinning no, elbow. Realizing his mistake, he changed his weapon of choice. And he goes for the Jason kick? With a body kick. Oh, oh, shit! Oh, my, oh my God! Goodness! Oh. Dude, the In top the of the head, of the fight, he gave him a Galon mohawk. Up the courage for the rolling thunder. The crushing Whoa. kick marked his promotion to the Premier League, Bellator. He turned into case. string cheese. In 2017, Ollie Flint, an amateur fighter, performed an under-rotated variation of the Rolling Thunder. Landed a few of those now. Ah, uh, that looks more like a spinning hook kick, you know? Unbelievable! But I guess I could see that, because you rolled underneath. We do that in Taekwondo now, too. The surface-to-air missile like, completely yeah. incinerated the target. We call that, like, the scorpion kick. You like whip your leg out. You know, Textbook you're... soccer kicks have long been enjoyed by MMA fans in Asia. Oh, oh, big oh, head. Oh, but geez. promotions outside that region rarely allow booting a grounded opponent. Therefore, in MMA, as in kickboxing, it is considered a form of art knocking the opposition out with a low kick a moment before he touches the ground. Oh, okay, this is brutal. No, no, no. This no, no. is exactly what happened oh. at Bellator 70, where AJ Matthews with a 5 and 1. I don't know if I can watch this. I don't know if I can watch it. Veteran Charlie Raider. AJ was bossing the proceedings in the first round without even breaking a sweat. A lot of bounce, a lot of nice movement by Matthews. In the second, the welterweight stepped it up a notch. Matthews. by Raider. Right hand by Raider. But after trying out his left hook, right low kick combination a couple of times, What's Matthews finished the bout with an insane strike. One minute 30 remaining in round two. Oh, he's in! He's way out! That is it! There is the stoppage! And a TKO! Tricking his opponent to lean away from his punch, AJ immediately sent the shin along the way. Charlie disconnected from reality midair. Slips and then ow, bang! That ow, kick was ow, already ow, ow, ow. His hand. And of course, we could not pass up a surreal <sighs> confrontation in the oh, Russian promotion M1. I feel like someone can... Fearing high kicks, Mikhail Gazayev simply refused to rise from his knees for almost the entire fight. But by the third round, Konstantin Glukhov lost his patience. No, he's not. Despite the disqualification, Gluchov most definitely won the People's Choice Award. I'm evolving. He gets the knockout. I get the win. Isn't it obvious? Despite being Why? a common misconception. Well, I don't understand that. That was weird. And Yo. axe kick from the ground. Oh my god, I remember playing different strikes the UFC in terms game. This is how I lost online. Regardless of the laying position of the attacker, in both cases, the up you know kick trajectory you... extends upwards. Yeah, you just start to... Yeah, right there. Whereas That's the how I lost online. Is more parabolic. <laughs> ah, you hear of course, you hear the it. most infamous Yo. axe kick was deployed by none other than Anderson Silva. In 2006, he uh. first met Yushin Akami, uh. visiting Hawaii in between oh, Pride dude, and I'm, UFC I don't know. I, I, I can finish this. The Brazilian fighter was dealing strikes in the vertical plane without any visible problems. Akami did try seeking salvation on the ground. No way. And in the middle of the first round, Yushin was lucky to complete a takedown and work on his ground and pound. Much puzzled. He doesn't know what to do. Oh, okay. Silva does it. The spider didn't feel like it. It's giving him no respect. With pride rules fresh in mind, the Brazilian legend to be clocked a grounded samurai with an axe kick. However, the surprised look on Silva's face did not save him from the disqualification for an illegal hit. What? Five years later, they will meet in the UFC, and this time the spider will have fun within the rules. In the same year, an illegal South hit? Right, I, guess I, I don't, I don't get it. And the professor performed a clinical axe kick. Oh my god, he, he snapped the buddy's neck. 
Pinning back the rear side of the hand with an opponent's head in a quick spiral motion is widely known as a spin. Is this a ranking fist. system from like what's the most deadliest? Because I think the, the kick before they fall is number Gaining one. Centrifugal force with each degree of turn, it is able to demolish anyone with one devastating touch. Damn! But perhaps not a single backfist compares to the one utilized by Artur Gusiedo back in 2011. Hello, Making his Artur, US right. debut with a 9 2 record, Artur. the Russian knockout artist was facing with American grappler Tyson Jeffries. At the start, Gusinov, to his misfortune, found himself on the floor, but swiftly returned to his feet. Then he demonstrated why he was nicknamed Tornado and destroyed his enemy. No way. Oh, that's clean, bro. Dude, that was the most cleanest. Oh, my face is melting. My face and is melting. Unmatched spinning oh, back fist broke dude, the of victory Broken. and boosted his career. In 2018, Mzwandele Luongwa, nicknamed Shakebone, put his own spin on a knockout wheel. Yeah, both oh, fantastic spinning back and over. Dude, that was like seven oh, punches. In the clash of the unpronounceable names with Torbjorn Madsen, the more South punches, African you know? gladiator struck a killer combo. Dang. The Viking mentally <laughs> sailed to his native shores before the touching the floor. The guy stood up that long oh, that he could get... Oh my god, I like the last two. Yeah, the axe the kick. The axe kick is considered one of the most difficult among amplitude kicks. Really? But despite the similarity to the movement of an actual axe swing, a chopping kick rarely carries knockout power. I knock people out with my axe kick. I mean, not really knock them out. I've seen. In kickboxing, the axe kick was popularized Jeez. by Andy Hoog. But even the Swiss karate master did not get many knockdowns with this mesmerizing move. Nevertheless, I guess, Alfie yeah, Davis it feels like more of a point game. A truly staggering act with it. In a 2016 special window. rules fight, the fierce lumberjack took less lumberjack. than three minutes to deal with <laughs> Nick Baker. I like it. Game of a very good combination coming forward. Beautiful KO! Wow! With a single smash, Davis slashed his opponent down, earning himself the nickname The Axe Man. Beautiful. A year later, in MMA, Icelander Bjorn Thorleifsson enriched his career with a memorable kick. By landing heavy body shots, Bjorn forced his counterpart to make a fatal mistake. Yo, and he's his doing take no kicks. That was a good back kick and a 360 and axe kick. Bro. I see straight take no in this guy. This guy did take no. 100%. 100%. 100%. The ability oh, to tornado kick? Tornado okay, we call it 360. Without a doubt, crucial sure. for any big screen action star. But even outside of a movie set, yeah, the we, whirly yeah. move proved to be a work of wonders in kickboxing. That had to be the slowest, most powerful 360. Yo! Israel Adesanya, for I, example, did not uh, fight shy of using it. A, yeah, it's an anime kick right there, dude. Amateur MMA enthusiasts Superstar. found the stunt to their liking, too. Deontay Brown amused the crowd in his debut, which made the headlines of the sports press. But the unequivocal wielders of no Tornado way. Magic are, of course, My the big guy. In 2012, accomplished British striker Michael Page made his MMA debut. Ben Dishman had looks the bad like luck swag. to be his victim. Aww, For a full minute, Michael lean. took great pleasure in bullying his Skin opponent. And bones. No, he's not. No, he's not. A no, tornado not. kick maneuver summed up the Don't fight. Don't do it in the front of the face. Corner, the London shoot fighter screaming at Antonio oh! Tate. Seriously, and there's a spinning kick. Oh, that is unbelievable. Wow. After turning 360 degrees, Page sent his counterpart into a stumble and fall. Screaming at Antonio Tate. Seriously, oh! and there's a spinning kick. Soon his talents would be picked up by Bellator, where Venom would go on to make a name for himself. Oh no 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 However, on the third minute, the Good bout was kick. finished by a tornado forming right in the ring. Did you do take window as well? Very cool.
was number one. Living highlight is the perfect description of knockout punch? virtuoso Raymond Daniels. After spending two decades in the ring, he gained fame as a world champion in a multitude of striking disciplines. Daniels also won the trilogy against Michael Page, but that's a whole other story. Later, Raymond What's won a the tornado punch. You spin title. and like, spin Likewise, and punch? his glory run ended on a wave of success with insane fight compilations. Footwork and there's that blistering spinning back kick. And Bigs needed another. Daniels was ready for the transfer to mixed martial arts. In a 2019 clash, the American welterweight was about to spoil the debut of Wilker Barrows. For four minutes straight, Raymond amused the audience with his obligatory entertainment program. And when the thrown off balance opponent was near the fence, living highlight no, ended no, the performance. No, 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 with a spinning a punch. Note. Raymond turned around twice and drilled a tornado punch into Barros's head. The right hand sent his adversary into oblivion. Yo, that's a sick move, but I think he just got lucky. He messed up. Oh, dude, can you hear? Yo. Love those spinning the world of mixed martial arts has a yeah, ritual one and suave does that. knockouts that can truly amaze. If you yeah, want to see uh, more videos like this, don't yeah. forget to smash that yeah, like smash, button. Yeah, smash, bro. I, we gotta see more. To our channel. Yeah, that one. Anything on the low. Uh. Oh my god. Goodness. Ow. Oh my goodness. First of all, I am growing a beard. Usually, I have it clean shaven, but I am growing this thing, and I just noticed it right now. That thing is thick. I wonder how big I can get it. Anyways, yo, that was amazing. I know that I've mentioned a whole bunch of times that I'm not a big fan of MMA. Maybe I don't want to see the documentaries. I want to see more knockout videos, so maybe I'll see some more MMA videos. I'm going to try to find some more MMA knockouts, maybe some Muay Thai kickboxing, boxing, of course. But it's, it's quite hard to actually find some videos. So if you guys have any recommendations, always a pleasure to see them in the comment section. But that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, like the video, help me with the algorithm, subscribe if you're new, and we know how we go end these videos. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Cheers for now. <laughs>